everybody, I'm JC here and thank you for watching and I'm excited today to do a review video on the Vibe Plate Mini right here at my feet. It is small, it's 15 inches by 15 inches. I had quite a few people ask me for reviews on this Vibe Plate Mini. Some people asked me about what is the S value, what is the F value. To be honest, I did a little research and the company states a lot of different types of uh, research that they have done independently on the vibration plate. One they claim is medically based. Two, they also did a, um, claims that it's for circulation, improved circulation, improved lymphatic drainage, helps with healing, help with depression, and also help with many other issues as well as just making you uh, contract your muscle fibers before you actually start movement. The reason why I say that, as an exercise physiologist, we always try to look at machines as a functional level. So when you turn this machine on, it starts to vibrate at a frequency. It goes anywhere from 5 hertz all the way up to 60 hertz. On the website, and even in the manual, it does not tell you what frequency to use. But if you email the, co the company privately through email, they'll give you a sheet of what to use for post-rehab, pre-rehab, during rehab, workout, warm-up, stretching, all the different levels of hertz you need to use. The most common is between 30 and 45 hertz for most of the exercises. Warm-up and exercise is normally around 40, 45 hertz. And basically, this machine right here has helped me out significantly. I know I worked with a person that had cerebral palsy, and we put them on a larger version of this machine, about maybe the four foot by uh, fifth, about four foot by two foot machine, I believe it was. And once they were on this machine, their spasms went away after five minutes of being on the machine with a wheelchair. I bought the mini version for inside my bus. As you can see, I have a full fitness studio. It's a mobile fitness studio. My company is called Fit for Biz Mobile Fitness. The reason why I say that is this is in a compact space. This could work in your office. This could work in a closet. Basically anywhere. You can slide under your bed when you're not using it. Afterward, I'm going to zoom in after demonstrating some exercises. A person online uh, wanted me to demonstrate some exercises for him so that he could see what it's like to use the machine. Uh, but personally, I say try it out. If it doesn't suit you, you can always return it. The company has really good return policy, and the Vibe Plate Mini is definitely a machine I would purchase. Uh, it's great for therapy, great for fitness, and my clients love it. You can do a push-up on here, which I'm going to do in a little bit, and it makes it so much harder. And like, I can't believe it. You do one push-up, and it feels like ten push-ups. Maybe exaggerating a little bit, but it is much harder, and it's a really good way to get a better workout in a short period of time. Higher intensity, like HIIT training. It's basically, it's like almost like HIIT training in a way where it intensifies your workout for a short period of time. A 10-minute workout in here is almost equivalent to like a half-hour normal workout, unless you're using super heavy weights and doing a HIIT-type workout. So, let's get started. I just want to explain that a little bit. I do appreciate you guys watching this video. I'm actually going to forward this to the person that actually wanted to see my exercises on it. The first thing I have to do is a warm-up on the vibration plate. Um, I'm going to start off with my shoes off. I always start with my shoes off. I like to keep it clean. I wash it down with Simple Green afterward. And um, I'm going to do a real short tutorial on this. If you have any more questions or want to see more exercises, that would be great. Right now I have it plugged into a generator. On the side of my bus there's a generator hookup. And also I have it plugged into my house. So this bus actually runs off of a generator or runs off a outlet in my house. I have a 30 amp receptacle on the outside. The reason why I say that, this can run off a generator if you're camping and want to go someplace and don't want to be in your home. So you could be in the middle of the woods, hook it up to a generator or even hook it up to your outlet in your RV and it works fine. So it works great. So let's turn her on. Right now I have the box over here. I have it strapped to my punching bag for demonstration purposes. And um, it's normally strapped to my wall, but it is, mo it is portable and it's a very heavy duty controller. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So I'm going to turn it on. Right now we're going to start with 40 hertz. I'm going to start with some uh, 
my normal warm up. It vibrates pretty frequently. <laughs> so the whole floor is vibrating in my bus, which is really awesome. Like the whole room is like a vibration room. So I'm gonna start with being on the vibration plate here. I'm gonna start with my side to side motion. So I always start with side to side. If you have the wider vibration plate, you can go side to side a little bit further. Make sure my knees don't go over my toes. I do that about for about 10 times. I'm not too worried today about the counting like I'm doing a personal training session. Just a demonstration of the machine. Then I'm gonna start off with like a leg swing. So you can hold onto the bars if you need to, or I can do leg swings up and out. I'm holding onto the bars just for balance purposes for now. There we go. I'm parked on a little bit of a hill right now um, in my driveway of my house. Go up like that, work the legs, dynamic warm up. I switch sides, like I said before, I'm not too worried about the counting, just getting the motion in so that we're doing that. Just giving a little bit of demonstration for leg swings, and I am really shaking here. As you can see, I'm right above, I'm right below my AC heat unit. It's not on right now, but this bus is about six foot seven inches, and um, it's plenty high enough for me to stand on the vibration plate. I'm about five nine, and the vibration plate is about five inches, so it still works. So now next we're gonna do some squats, and I'm really vibrating. My voice is vibrating, as you can see, and I hope you're enjoying this video, seeing me vibrate. So you down, breathe in. And up. You can use some weights if you want. Do some curls. Stick that butt out. There we go. Eyes up, chest up, abs in, back straight. There we go. Breathe in. In and out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. There we go. Awesome. Now let's go into the plank position. And you normally take a break in between. As you can see, always keep your knees slightly bent when you're doing uh, any kind of standing motion to keep your body in alignment as well as to minimize the vibration on your head. So next thing we're gonna do is do a push up on here, a plank and a push up. So right here, I'm holding a plank. I'm gonna lift up one foot behind me and alternate my foot up and down. Up and down my leg motion. Nice abs in, back straight. There we go, abs in, back straight. Breathe in and out as you lift. Breathe in, out as you lift. Let's go down to a push up. Down, it's a close grip push up. Down, and up. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out. There we go. Now let's go into a thing called a dead bug. I love sitting on this because it feels really good in my lower back. If you have any hip injury, any back injury, this really helps. Opposite leg, opposite arm. There we go. And like I said before, a lot of my clients have injuries that were healed by this machine. It helps increase the circulation, stimulate blood flow. There we go. I only worked out for less than five minutes and I'm really breaking a sweat. There we go, work it. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Now you can do some yoga stretches on here if you want to. It's small, 15 by 15, but you can still do your cat stretch, modify, Breathe in, cow stretch, and cow stretch. Breathe in, and now I'll turn sideways so you can see me. There we go. Cow stretch, and out. Eyes up, chest up. Don't critique my posture on yoga, guys. I'm not a yogi. I love yoga. It's a really small um, surface area, so. I'm modifying everything. And you can do a downward dog. I see my booties in the air, I know guys, I know. Downward dog, you can modify it, almost like a stretch. And bend those knees, one more time, and breathe out. That's a really modified downward dog. You gotta be flexible to that one. And you also can lay on it and do your bridges. So a bridge is really cool on here. So you may not be able to see my whole body. If I'm gonna do a bridge as I'm laying on it. Be careful. Lift up and bridge. And kick up and down and bridge. There we go. Feels really good. Woo! Makes you talk like you have helium in your mouth. Woo! There we go. And relax. Woo! There we go, perfect. Be careful getting up. 
because there is there is some metal edges on here. There is a, a rubber surface that I'll zoom in after and show you what it looks like. It is quite heavy. It's about 20 something pounds, and it has one cord connected to the uh, power box, and another cord connected directly to an outlet. Um, and the cords do come off if you have to replace one, which is really cool. So I'm actually going to show you. I'm going to turn the machine off and show you some of the parts, and then we'll be all set. I hope you enjoyed me working out. It's very brief and easy, but this has really helped heal my knees, my back, my wrist, like carpal tunnel. It's a really good machine. Um, besides the science of it, um, it definitely has helped me. I know you want to know the insides and out of the science. The best thing to do is go on the website and research vibeplate.com and see what they say. I'm going off their research. I haven't done really independent research myself, which I should do. I contacted a few physicians that might actually do some research or uh, medical students that might be interested in doing research. So what I have here is the box. As you can see, the box here has uh, 10 amp, 20 amp, 30 amp, 40 amp, 50 amp, and 60. Right here in the control goes from 10 and turns all the way to 60 right there. I turn it on on the on buttons right here. Real nice sturdy metal box. And it says right here the wattage. It's a 115 VAC 50 to 60 Hertz. Output 0 to 90 v, uh, VDC. And overall this actually can hook up to a 120. So a 110 or 120 this is no problem. This will definitely a 115. This will hook up to a regular outlet. You don't have to have a special outlet for this. And then I put a little bit of padding on the back because I have it in the bus so that I can pad it once up against the wall so I don't have to worry about um, it vibrating when I'm driving and supports the box and helps from vibration while I'm driving. I just use a bread tie to actually tie it so I can have it hang it from the uh, window hook or one of the window emergency exits. Uh, it's, it's locked already. The reason why I say that, this is going to be in your home, so you can screw it onto your wall. Have like a screw on the wall and hook it right onto your wall. As you can see, it says Vibe Plate. That's their, that's their brand. I'm going to screw it back on here for purposes of talking about it. So I'm going to lift it up for you to see what it looks like. It is actually fairly heavy. Here we go. It says Vibe Plate right there. That's a trademark. This is the bottom of it, as you can see the motor and the cord attached to it. The cord is actually mounted in there. You do have to be careful if you're moving it. If it's in one spot, you won't be moving it a lot. And the other side, there we go, it's modeling for you. And the back side says the same thing, Vibrate Mini. It is fairly heavy, you almost can do a workout with the Vibe machine, but you're not supposed to. So, overall, I love this machine. I hope, uh, if you're interested in buying one, I'm not, um, I don't get any money for this video, so it would be great to tell the Vibe Plate company that uh, JC or Jason Cronin from Fit for Biz Mobile Fitness sent you, and uh, give them a call, check it out, they have all different sizes, this is the mini one, this is one of the smallest ones they have, they have ones with cages on them, with the bars where you can do pull-ups, you can even do other exercises, you can do TRX on them, you can do whatever you want on them, and they're actually really great. So I thank you very much, I'm JC from Fit for Biz Mobile Fitness watching. Have a great day. Take care. Be safe. And I hope you enjoy. I'll see you back in the vibration plate. Get my work.